born 87 years ago. For 65 years, I've ruled as Tamriel's emperor. But for all these years, I've never been the ruler of my own dreams. I have seen the gates of oblivion, beyond which no waking eye may see. Behold, in darkness, a doom sweeps the land. This is the 27th of Last Seed, the year of Akatosh 433. These are the closing days of the Third Era and the final hours of my life. must break your heart, huh? Being so close to the water, knowing you'll never get to swim again. You know, sometimes, when they let us in the yard, you can hear the sounds from the lake, the boats, the gulls, so close. No, you'll never get to swim again, Argonian. But don't worry, you'll be dead soon enough. That's right. You're going to die in here. Hey, you hear that? The guards are coming. For you. <laughs> Morris, lock that door behind us. Yes, sir. My sons. They're dead, aren't they? We don't know that, sire. The messenger only said they were attacked. No, they're dead. I know it. My job right now is to get you to safety. What's this prisoner doing here? This cell is supposed to be off limits. Usual mix up with the watch. I. Never mind. Get that gate open. Stand back, prisoner. We won't hesitate to kill you if you get in our way. You, prisoner, stand aside. Over by the window. Stay out of the way and you won't get hurt. Stay put, prisoner. Good. Let's go. We're not out of this yet. You. I've seen you. Let me see your face. You are the one from my dreams. Then the stars were right. And this is the day. Gods give me strength. 
Assassins attack my sons, and I am next. My blades are leading me out of the city along a secret escape route. By chance, the entrance to that escape route leads through your cell. I am your emperor, Uriel Septim. By the grace of the gods, I serve Tamriel as her ruler. You are a citizen of Tamriel, and you too shall serve her in your own way. Perhaps the gods have placed you here so that we may meet. As for what you have done, it does not matter. That is not what you will be remembered for. You will find your own path. Take care. There will be blood and death before the end. Please, sire, we must keep moving. Better not close this one. There's no way to open it from the other side. Looks like Don't this try. is your lucky day. I'm watching. Stay out of our way. Close up left. Protect the Emperor. The captain's down. This doesn't... Stay out of the way. How could they be waiting for us here? I don't know, but it's too late to go back. Don't worry, sire. We will get you out of here. They won't be the first to underestimate the blades. I'll take point. Let's move. You stay here, prisoner. Don't try to follow us.
protect the Emperor until help arrives. Help? What makes you think help will get here before more of those bastards? We need to get the Emperor out of here. This end! My sword for the dragon! Damn it! It's that prisoner again! Kill him! He might be working with the assassins! No, he is not one of them. He can help us. He must help us. As you wish. They cannot understand why I trust you. They've not seen what I've seen. How can I explain? Listen, you know the Nine, how they guide our fates with an invisible hand. I've served the Nine all my days, and I chart my course by the cycles of the heavens. The skies are marked with numberless sparks, each a fire, and every one a sign. I know these stars well, and I wonder which sign marked your birth. signs I read show the end of my path. My death, a necessary end, will come when it will come. Your stars are not mine. Today the thief shall guide your steps on the road to destiny. My dreams grant me no opinions of success. Their compass ventures not beyond the doors of death. But in your face I behold the sun's companion, the dawn of Akatosh's bright glory may banish the coming darkness. With such hope, and with the promise of your aid, my heart must be satisfied. No trophies of my triumphs precede me, but I have lived well, and my ghost shall rest easy. Men are but flesh and blood. They know their doom, but not the hour. In this, I am blessed to see the hour of my death to face my apportioned fate, then fall. I go to my grave, a tongue shriller than all the music calls me. You shall follow me yet for a while, then we must part. You may as well make yourself useful. Here, carry this torch and stick close. We're the Emperor's bodyguards. Our job is to get him out of situations like this. Although I admit, things are not going according to plan. My job is to make sure the Emperor gets out of here alive, and I intend to do it. Stick close and let us do our job. We'll be all... The Emperor may trust you, but I don't. Stay out of our way.
Hold up. I don't like this. Let me take a look. Come with us. Your destiny is bound up with mine, and with the fate of Tamriel itself. There's no time to talk now, prisoner. We've got to keep moving. The gate is barred from the other side. A trap! What about that side passage back there? Worth a try. Let's go! It's a dead end. What's your call, sir? They're behind us. Wait here, sire. Wait here with the Emperor. Guard him with your life. For the Oblivion, Emperor! take you! Yeah! For the blade! Yeah! And they die you! I can go no further. You alone must stand against the Prince of Destruction and his mortal servants. He must not have the Amulet of Kings. Take the Amulet, give it to Joffrey. He alone knows where to find my last son. Find him, and close shut the jaws of Oblivion. You chose do your work. For the Emperor! What's the matter? Getting tough! Take them down. Am I? Blades are sworn to protect the Emperor, and now he and all his heirs are dead. The amulet. Where's the amulet of kings? It wasn't on the Emperor's body. Strange. He saw something in you. Trusted you. They say it's the dragon blood that flows through the veins of every scepter. They see more than lesser men. The amulet of kings is a sacred symbol of the Empire. Most people think of the red dragon crown, but that's just jewelry. The amulet has power. Only a true heir of the blood can wear it, they say. He must have given it to you for a reason. Did he say why? Joffrey? He said that? Why? Nothing I ever heard about. But Joffrey would be the one to know. He's the Grand Master of my order. Although you may not think so to meet him, he lives quietly as a monk at Wainan Priory, near the city of Coral. First, you need to get out of here. Through that door must be the entrance to the sewers, past the locked gate. That's where we were heading. It's a secret way out of the Imperial City. Or it was supposed to be secret. Here, you'll need this key for the last door into the sewers. There are rats and goblins down there. But from what I've seen of you, I'm guessing you're an experienced agent. Am I right? I wasn't far off. In any case, rats and goblins won't give you any trouble. You must get the amulet to Joffrey. Take no chances, but proceed to Wayne in Priory immediately. Got it? Good. The Emperor's trust was well placed. I'll stay here to guard the Emperor's body and make sure no one follows you. You'd better get moving. May Talos guide you. Leave the Emperor. Thank you.
Hello. Yes. Astinia Aetius. I want no part of the Syntav Aetius squabbles. I mind my own business. The Grey Fox sounds like a dangerous thief. I'm fed up with the senseless feuding, blood spilled for no good reason. Glad the watch put a stop to it. Bye. What kind of deal can I make for you today? What can I interest you in? Need to make a better off. That's good. I've a good price for a good customer. Good, a good price. And X. Thank you for your patronage. Goodbye. Please come again. Welcome to A Fighting Chance. I'm Rosan, proprietor. I sell the best swords in the city, and I offer advanced training for armorers. I offer the finest goods and lowest prices in all Cyrodiil. We've got to be kidding. I can't afford afford to do that. You don't expect me to make that deal. Do I let that go too cheaply. Thank you for your patronage. I can repair almost anything. Good day. I'm listening. Yes. 
seen the selection at Stonewall Shields. Stonewall is the best in the city when it comes to shields. Leave me alone. Yes? Can I help you? He's upstairs. Go ahead. I'm Brother Joffrey. What do you want? This cannot be. No one but the Emperor is permitted to handle the amulet. Let me see it. By the night. This is the Amulet of Kings. Who are you? How did you get this? What do you know of the Emperor's death? As unlikely as your story sounds, I believe you. Only the strange destiny of Uriel Septim could have brought you to me carrying the Amulet of Kings. The Prince of Destruction he referred to is none other than Merun's Dagon, one of the lords of the demonic world of Oblivion. The Emperor's words, close shut the jaws of Oblivion, certainly suggest that he perceived some threat from Oblivion. But all the scholars agree that the mortal world is protected from the Daedra of Oblivion by magical barriers. I'm not sure. Only the Emperors truly understand the meaning behind the rituals of coronation. The Amulet of Kings is ancient. Saint Alicia herself received it from the gods. It is a holy relic of great power. 
When an emperor is crowned, he uses the amulet to light the dragon fires at the Temple of the One in the Imperial City. With the emperor dead and no new heir crowned, the dragon fires in the temple will be dark for the first time in centuries. It may be that the dragon fires protected us from a threat that only the emperor was aware of. I am one of the few who know of his existence. Many years ago, I served as captain of Uriel's bodyguards, the Blades. One night, Uriel called me into his private chambers. A baby boy lay sleeping in a basket. Uriel told me to deliver him somewhere safe. He never told me anything else about the baby, but I knew it was his son. From time to time, he would ask about the child's progress. Now, it seems that this illegitimate son is the heir to the Septim throne, if he yet lives. His name is Martin. He serves Akatosh in the chapel in the city of Kvach, south of here. You must go to Kvach and find him at once. If the enemy is aware of his existence, as seems likely, he is in terrible danger. And please, let me know if there's anything you need. My resources here are limited, but I will help in any way I can. It will be safest here with me. When you return with Martin, we will figure out our next move. I keep a few things here in my chest to resupply traveling blades. Help yourself to whatever you need. Your first priority now should be to find Martin and bring him back here. I don't have much here at hand, but you're welcome to anything you need from my chest in the reading room. Priam Abriel and Brother Pina may also be able to help. You should speak to them about it if you haven't already. One of the youngest blades ever to serve in the Emperor's personal guard. I am glad to hear that he survived, but I fear he will take the Emperor's death particularly hard. The coronation of each new emperor is sealed when he uses the Amulet of Kings to light the dragon fires in the Temple of the One. The dragon fires of Akatosh remain lit until the death of the emperor. His successor then lights them anew upon ascending to the throne. With Emperor Uriel dead and no successor crowned, the Temple of the One will be dark for the first time in centuries. The Elder Council rules in the emperor's absence by ancient tradition. Chancellor Akato heads the Elder Council and is the closest thing the Empire has to a leader right now. But the Blades answer only to the Emperor, of course. We are not an arm of the government. He is a priest in the chapel of Akatosh in Kvach. He never knew that he was Uriel Septim's son. You need to find him at once and bring him safely back here. The Daedra Prince of Destruction, an inveterate foe of all mortal races. He was involved with Jaegar Thahn's plot against the Empire years ago. It doesn't surprise me to find his hand in the current calamity. Yes, Boris told you right. I am the Grand Master of the Blades. We serve the Emperor and the Septim bloodline. Talos is our patron. You wonder to find me here? Discretion is our watchword. Only a few of us have the honor to serve publicly in the Imperial Guard. Waste no time. You must find Martin before the enemy does. Welcome, good citizen. I'm Brother Piner, and this is Wayne and Priory, a monastery. Can I help you? Here, perhaps you will find this useful. One of the books I saved from my blades training. You go into danger. Joffrey didn't tell us any more than that, but know that our prayers go with you. Oh, yes, he'll be in the Priory House somewhere. It isn't widely known, but many brothers of the Order of Talos are also members of the Blades. Chapter houses of the Order, like Wayne and Priory, provide safe houses for traveling Blades as well as our more public religious functions. Blades who are too old for the active service often join the order as lay brothers. 
We are honored to have Grand Master Joffrey, or Brother Joffrey as he prefers, as a resident here. The blades are closely linked to the Order of Talos. We both serve Talos, of course, and many of our brothers are former blades. I myself was training as a blade when I received the call to serve Talos in a different way. Be seeing you. Hello? I know that you are on an important mission for the blades. Please, if you need a horse, take mine from the Priory Stables. Go with Talos's blessings. Do not fail. Good afternoon.
Take that! What do you want? If you mean the priest, I don't think he made it out of the city. Very few of us did. But Savli and Mattias might know more. He's in charge of the city guard that are defending the camp. You'll find him at the barricade at the top of the road. He's still trying to hold what's left of the guard together. Be seeing you. I don't have much. I lost everything. Have a look around. You won't find better prices in all Tamriel. Enough talk. Come on! Run while there's still time! The guard still holds the road, but it's only a matter of time before they're overwhelmed! God's blood! You don't know, do you? Deidre overran Kvatch last night! There were glowing portals outside the walls, gates to oblivion itself. There was a huge creature, something out of a nightmare, came right over the walls, blasting fire that swarmed around it, killing. Go and see for yourself. Kvatch is a smoking ruin. We're all that's left. Do you understand me? Everyone else is dead. It was... Savly and Matthias, some of the other guards, helped some of us escape. They cut their way out, right through the city gates. Savlian says they can hold the road. No, no, I don't believe him. Nothing can stop them. If you'd seen it, you'd know. I'm getting out of here before it's too late. They'll be here any minute, I'm telling you. Run when you can. How could the Nine let this happen? Are they angry with us? Hope is gone. The Imperial Line is dead. The Covenant is broken. The enemy has won. The Imperial Line is dead, and the gods have forsaken us. Where is our blessing? Where is our protection? Where are our gods? The enemy triumphs, and we die alone. Lord Dagon is the enemy. He is the Prince of Destruction, and the Daedra are his servants. The chapel is cast down, and the faithful, my friends, all dead. The enemy has won, and we are destroyed. Enough talk. Civilian, this is no place for you. Get back to the encampment at once. We lost the damn city. That's what happened! It was too much. Too fast. 
We were overwhelmed. Couldn't even get everyone out. There are still people trapped in there. Some made it to the chapel, but others were just run down in the streets. The Count and his men are still holed up in the castle. And now we can't even get back into the city to help them. That damned oblivion gate blocking the way. The only thing we can do. We'll try to hold our ground, that's what. If we can't hold this barricade, those beasts could march right down and overrun the encampment. I have to try and protect the few civilians that are left. It's all I can do now. My home! My goddamn home in flames! It kills me that I can't get in there and do something! We couldn't have been any less prepared for this. Seems like they came out of nowhere. There were just so many of them. If only I had a way to strike back at the enemy. But we can't leave the barricade until that oblivion gate is closed. You mean the priest? Last I saw him, he was leading a group towards the chapel of Akatosh. If he's lucky, he's trapped in there with the rest of them, at least safe for the moment. If he's not... Some kind of portal to oblivion. The enemy used them to attack the city. They appeared outside the walls and Daedra poured out. They've opened one right in front of the city gates. Until that gate is closed, the best I can do is try to hold these barricades. You want to help? You're kidding, right? Hmm. If you're serious, maybe I can put you to use. It'll likely mean your death, though. Are you sure? I don't know how to close this gate, but it must be possible, because the enemy closed the ones they opened during the initial attack. You can see the marks on the ground where they were, with the great gate right in the middle. I sent men into the gate to see if they could find a way to shut it. They haven't come back. If you can get in there, find out what happened to them. If they're alive, help them finish the job. If not, see what you can do on your own. The best I can say is good luck. If you make it back alive, we'll be waiting for you. Good luck. It's a brave thing. Thank the Nine. I never thought I'd see another friendly face. The others... taken. They were taken to the tower. Captain Mattias sent us in to try and close the gate. We were ambushed, trapped, and picked off. I managed to escape, but the others are strewn across that bridge. They took many and off to the big tower. You've got to save him. I'm getting out of here. Captain is still holding the barricade. I figured I was the last one left alive. All right, I'll try to get out of here and let the captain know what's going on. You saved my life. You brought me back from hell. I won't forget it. It was a terrible night. I don't know how any of us survived. The whole city was burning. Farewell.
over here! Quickly! Quickly, there's no time. You must get to the top of the large tower. The sigil key, they call it. That's what keeps the oblivion gate open. Find the sigil stone. Remove it and the gate will close. Hurry, the keeper has the key. You must get the key.
Close the gate. I knew you could do it. This is our chance to launch a counterattack. I need you to come with us. You've got far more combat experience than these men. Are you able to join us now? I can wait, but not for long. We've got to move quickly before they have a chance to barricade the city gate. Hook of Ants! Bastards out. It's safe to pull those people out of the chapel. Let's get in there and make sure they're all right. Come on. This is only the beginning of the battle for Kavach. We can discuss the next phase once the civilians are safe. The area is clear? Then as soon as Captain Mattias gives the order, I'll escort the civilians to safety. It... it all happened so fast. It was all we could do to round up the survivors and try to get them to safety. We failed them miserably. Brother Martin? Yes, he's right over there. He led a group of us here during the confusion of the attack. We owe him our lives. Be seeing you. I just can't sleep. I lie down and close my eyes, but I can't stop thinking about it. Report, soldier. Sir, we're all that's left. Barak Inian, myself, and these civilians. That's it? There's no one else? There were others, sir, but they refused to stay put. We tried to convince them it was dangerous, but they left anyway. I guess they didn't make it. Very well. The area outside the chapel has been cleared, and these people need to be taken to safety. Escort them to the camp south of here at once. But, sir, I want to help fight. You will, soldier. Once the... The area... Bye. I didn't expect any of us to live this long. Maybe we're not doomed after all. Kovach. You've seen it. Kovach doesn't exist anymore. Good day. Greetings, traveler. What do you seek? A gate opened and Deidre poured out. Everybody ran. Or they died. I don't know how the fire started, but it burned Kovach to the ground. You too. No, really. 
I heard about how you helped the guard drive the Daedra back. Well done. The Emperor is dead. Who are you? What do you really want with me? Yes, I'm a priest. Do you need a priest? I don't think I'll be much help to you. I'm having trouble understanding the gods right now. If all this is part of a divine plan, I'm not sure I want to have anything to do with it. What plan? What are you talking about? I prayed to Akatosh all through that terrible night, but no help came. Only more Daedra. What can you possibly know that would help me make sense of this? Emperor Uriel Septim? You think the Emperor is my father? No, you must have the wrong man. I am a priest of Akatosh. My father was a farmer. You spoke to the Emperor before he died? And he told you to find me? I don't know. It's strange. I... I think you might actually be telling the truth. What does this mean? What do you want from me? You destroyed the Oblivion Gate, they say. You gave them hope. You helped them drive the Daedra back. Yes. I'll come with you to Wayne and Priory, and hear what Joffrey has to say. Lead on. I'm just lucky to be alive. We've done it! I can't believe it! I didn't really think this would work! Maybe we do have a fighting chance. Oh yes, we're not done, not even close. This was only the first step. If this town is to be ours again, we'll need to get inside the castle. You've come this far with us. Will you go further? If we're truly going to succeed, I'll need much more of your help. I warn you, though, what we've seen so far is nothing compared to the battle that likely awaits us. Take a few moments to catch your breath and think it over. When you're ready, let me know and we'll get underway. Are you ready to go? We need your help getting to the castle, but we need to move soon. <laughs> I knew you'd be up to it! Our goal is the castle gate. We should be able to use this door to get out to the plaza in front of the castle gatehouse. You know the drill. Stick close and keep your eyes open. Let's move out! This is no good! The gates are locked, and the only way to open them is from within the gatehouse. We can't open that gate from out here. The only mechanism for raising it is inside the gatehouse. And the only way to get into the gatehouse now will be through the passage at the North Guardhouse, but that's always kept locked. Hurry and find Barrage Inia. We should be back in the chapel. We should still have the key to the guardhouse. Once you've got it, get to the guardhouse, find the passage, and open that gate. Then we can get inside the castle and secure it. We saw the smoke from the gold road while out on patrol. How can we help? We'll be right behind you. I'm just waiting for Captain... Yes, I have it. Why? <laughs> you do the guard one little favor and suddenly you think you're Matthias' best friend. You probably couldn't find it on your own. I'm coming with you. If we make it, I'll open the door for you. I've still got some fight left in me!
This is it. The entrance to the passage is right here. I'll unlock it for you. Best of luck. This area is clear. We've got to get inside and find the count before it's too late. Move out! This is it! We'll hold this area. You head to the back of the castle and find the Count. Don't come back here without him. Yeah, show me what you've You're pathetic. getting tired!
that the best you can do? Where is the Count? Why is he not with you? We... we were too late. If only we'd gotten here sooner. This is indeed a dark day for all of us left. But I thank you for risking your own life to help us. Did you find the Count's ring by any chance? At least, this is safe. Thank you. I shall make sure it is protected for the time when a new Count is crowned. Here. Take this. I have no use for it. I'm tired of fighting. It may serve you well in days to come. Good day. What is it, citizen? What is it, citizen? Unless you need something, let's continue on to Wayne on Priory. To Wayne and Priory, then. Help! You must help! They're killing everyone at Waynon Priory. I don't know. I think they're right behind me. Prior Mabarel is dead! I was in the sheepfold when they attacked. I heard the Prior talking to someone. Looked around the corner to see who it was. They looked like travelers. Ordinary. Suddenly weapons appeared in their hands, and they cut the Prior down before he could move. They saw me watching, and I ran. I don't know. In the chapel, praying, I think. You must help us! Yeah! You're back. 
thank Talos. They attacked without warning. I was praying in the chapel when I heard Prior Maberell shout. I had just time to arm myself. The Amulet of Kings. I fear that was the target of this attack. I kept it in a secret room in Wainon House. We need to go see if it is safe. We'll go together, but I fear the worst. I fear the enemy came here for the Amulet of Kings. Yes? They've taken it! The Amulet of Kings is gone! The enemy has defeated us at every turn! So it has not all gone against us. Thank Talos for that. We gained Uriel's heir and lost the Amulet of Kings. Martin cannot stay here. We have driven them off, but they will be back once they learn of Martin's survival. Which they will. Nowhere is truly safe against the power arrayed against us. But we must play for time, at least. Cloud Ruler Temple, I think. The hidden fortress of the Blades in the mountains near Bruma. A few men can hold it against an army. We should leave at once. With the amulet taken by the enemy, we must get Martin to safety at Cloud Ruler Temple. Cloud Ruler Temple was built long ago by the founders of the Blades, back in the days of Raymond Cyrodiil. It is high in the mountains near Bruma. Our ancient fortress, sanctuary, refuge of last resort. Martin will be as safe there as anywhere. We should get moving. I won't rest easy until Martin is safe at Cloud Ruler Temple. Let's continue on to Cloud Ruler Temple. I haven't had a good night's sleep since Kavach was attacked. The sooner we reach Cloud Ruler Temple, the better. Lead on.
Let's continue. in your hands. Grandmaster, is this... Yes, Cyrus. This is the Emperor's son, Martin Septim. My lord, welcome to Cloud Ruler Temple. We have not had the honor of an Emperor's visit in many years. Ah, well, thank you. The honor is mine. of a speech, was it? Didn't seem to bother them, though. The blade saluting me and hailing me as Martin Septim. I don't mean to sound ungrateful. I know I would be dead by now if it weren't for you. Thank you. But everyone expects me to suddenly know what to do, how to behave. They want an emperor to tell them what to do. And I haven't the faintest idea. Of course. The Amulet of Kings. So we... I can take it to the Temple of the One and light the dragon fires and stop the Oblivion invasion. The Emperor? <laughs> That's an idea that would take some getting used to. In any case, we need the amulet first. Maybe Joffrey will know where to start. All practitioners of Daedric magic are familiar with the almost impenetrable barrier between our world and Oblivion. What the Emperor told you implies that the amulet is the key to the preservation of that barrier. What I saw at Kavach. Everything I know about Daedric magic says that such stable portals are impossible. Yet those gates to oblivion existed. The old rules no longer apply. Kavach is only the beginning of what Mayrun's Dagon will do. If the amulet is truly the key to restoring the barriers between our world and oblivion, you must waste no time in recovering it. I haven't always been a priest. In my youth, I followed a different path. I know more than I want to about the seductive power of Daedric magic. Let's just leave it at that. Something has changed to make these stable portals to oblivion possible. Joffrey believes that the death of the Emperor and the darkening of the Dragonfires is the key. Don't worry about me, my friend. I know I'm in good hands here. Hail. You have proven yourself a loyal servant of the Empire, as worthy as any of the Blades to stand by Martin's side during this crisis. As the Grand Master of the Blades, I would be honored to accept you into our order. Will you join us? The Blades are sworn to the service of the Emperor as the mortal representative of the Dragon Blood of the Divine Talos. It is my honor to welcome you into our ranks as a Knight Brother of the Blades. You're right. We must try to recover the amulet before the enemy takes it out of our reach. You should go back to the Imperial City. Boris may have learned something about the assassins. You'll find Boris at Luther Broad's boarding house in the Elven Gardens district of the Imperial City. This place was built by Raymond Cyrodiil Zakaviri Dragon Guard at the founding of the Second Empire. Since then, it has served the Blades as headquarters, fortress and sanctuary. We can protect Martin here until you recover the Amulet of Kings. The Amulet of Kings is the key to everything now. Once we have it back, Martin can use it to light the dragonfires in the Temple of the One and reseal the barriers between Oblivion and our world. This fortress is well supplied with arms and armor, 
Use what you need from the armory in the East Wing. Give my warm regards to Boris. Tell him he should not blame himself for the Emperor's death. He did well to send you to me. Welcome aboard, sir. Sorry, but I'm too busy to talk right now. Try one of the other blades. Perhaps Roland or Cyrus? still trying to adjust to everything that has happened. This whole business of being heir to the throne will take some getting used to. Please bear with me. Farewell, my friend. Sorry, but I... Surprised to see you here. Have you been to yes? What can I do for you, sir? Don't worry, we'll keep the Emperor Martin safe here. No enemy has ever taken Cloud Ruler from the Blades. The Emperor's death was a harsh lesson for all of us. We failed in our duty to the Dragonborn. It must not happen again. If you need armor, weapons, or just a place to sleep, the barracks in the West Wing is available to any of us. Keep your heart true and your eyes open. Sir, what can I do for you, sir? Cloud Ruler is many things. Temple, fortress, safe haven. But it's also my home. I'll gladly die defending these walls if it comes to it. The Emperor's death. Keep your heart true and your eyes open.
Hello, my friend. Good evening, sir. Hello, my friend. Can you spare a coin? I can eat for it. Thank you, kind sir. Blessings of Stendar upon you. Tidings, citizen. Rosan is a talented smith, one of the best of Listen, I'm going to get up in a minute and walk out of here. That guy in the corner behind me will follow me. You follow him. Good. Remember, Wait for him to follow me. I want to see what he'll do. Luther Broad's boarding house. I'm Luther. You want beds or food? See me. A little food and drink will do you some good. You too. Good work. I am glad to see you, by the way. You just caught me at a bad time. The assassins who killed the Emperor were part of a Deirdre cult known as the Mythic Dawn. Apparently worshipped the Deirdre Lord Mayrun's Dagon. I've been tracking their agents in the Imperial City. I guess they noticed. Thank Talos he lives! Martin Septim, you say? We will restore him to the throne. It is the sworn duty of all blades! What? They took it from Joffrey? Things are worse than I had thought. There's a scholar at the Arcane University. Tarmina's her name. Supposed to be an expert on Diedrich cults. Why don't you take that book to her? See what she makes of it. I'll keep running down leads on the Mythic Dawn network. If you learn anything, you can find me at Luther Broad's. May Talos guide you. Like I said, she's one of the brains over at the Arcane University. Supposed to know everything there is to know about Diedrich cults. I hope you learned something from Tarmina about that book. This might just be the break we need. What do you need, friend? Don't be the last to read today's Black Horse Club. Hello. What is it, citizen? citizen.
Good to see you. Ah, you must be the one I got the message about. How can I help you? Too big for me. Loud, dirty. Clowns, fools, brutes, and thieves everywhere. I want to throw my gold away. I just dump it in Lake Romara, save time. You know of them? One of the most secretive of all the Daedric cults. Not much is known about them. They follow the teachings of Maincar Cameron, whom they call the Master, a shadowy figure in his own right. Ah, yes. Commentaries on the Mysterium Xarxes. Wonderful. You have a scholarly interest in Daedric cults, then. Find them, eh? I won't poke my nose any further. Official business and all that. I'm used to working with the Blades. Don't worry. Say no more. In any case, finding them won't be easy. I've studied Mankar Cameron's writings a bit myself. At least those that I could find. It is clear from the text that Mankar Cameron's commentaries come in four volumes, but I've only ever seen the first two books. I believe that his writings contain hidden clues to the location of the Mythic Dawn's secret shrine to Merun's Dagon. Those who unlock this hidden path have proven themselves worthy to join the ranks of the Mythic Dawn cult. Finding the shrine is the first test. If you want to find them, you'll need all four volumes of the commentaries. Here, you can have the library's copy of Volume 2. Treat it gently, if you please. As I've said, I've never even seen the third and fourth volumes. You should try first edition over in the Market District. Fintius, the proprietor, caters to specialist collectors. He may have an idea of where to locate those books. The supposed leader of the Mythic Dawn cult. He wrote the infamous Commentaries on the Mysterium Xarxes. The commentaries are contemporary with Tiber's Septum over 400 years ago, so he is unlikely to still be alive, although you never know. The Holy Book of the Mythic Dawn, supposedly written by Merun's Dagon himself. If it exists, it would be an artifact of great and evil power. They worship the Daedra Lord Merun's Dagon, according to the teachings of their leader, Maincar Cameron. No one knows how widespread the cult is or where their shrine to Merun's Dagon is located. The Mages Guild runs more or less like it always did, but we lost quite a few members when the practice of necromancy was banned. It was so nice chatting with you. Be sure to let me know how your hunt for the Mythic Dawn turns out. I'm Fintius, owner and proprietor of the first edition. Look around. If I don't have it, maybe I can get it. This is the only bookstore in the city. There's also Renoir's books in Coral, Machna's in Chaden Hall, and Southern Books in Leowin. You must be referring to Mancar Cameron's commentaries on the Mysterium Xarxes. A common mistake. It comes in four volumes. The first two volumes are rare, but you may run across them from time to time. The third and fourth are impossible to find. I happen to have a copy of Volume 3 on hand, but I'm afraid it is a special order. Already paid for by another customer. Sorry. Gwyneth would be terribly disappointed if it was gone when he came to pick it up. So sorry I can't help you. I'm afraid I couldn't sell it to you for any price. I've already promised it to someone else, and my word is my bond. I wish I had one, but I have never even seen a copy. I don't know him personally, 
but he was very eager to get his hands on volume three of Cameron's commentaries. Came all the way from Valenwood. As a matter of fact, he's already late for his appointment to pick up the book. Feel free to wait for him if you want to speak to him yourself. Need a book? You've come to the right place. trying to drive me out of business. I can't afford to do that. You need to make a better offer. That's just it's not reasonable. I can't make that deal. You bought that for a song. You're a fuck. I am An excellent deal. Come. Good day. Hail. You treacherous little filcher! How dare, How dare you, you steal, steal from me? I'm sorry, but I'm late for an appointment. I've no time to talk now. It's all over, lawbreaker. Your spree is at an end. I'm Fintius. I... Good day. How do you do?
I'm here for my book, Mankar Cameron's Commentaries, Volume 3. Ah, of course, here you go. Keep us in mind for any future needs. Thank you. Thank you. I can't tell you how long I've been looking for this book. It's you. Hi. Yes? Have you been following me? Leave me alone! That book is mine! The Mythic Dawn? Are you... I mean, I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know anything about any cult. Very well. I can see you're familiar with Mankar Cameron's commentaries. I know that Diedrich cults are not quite the thing socially, but that's just foolish prejudice and superstition. For the adventurous, open-minded thinker, Diedrich worship holds many rewards. What? The mythic dawn were the ones? You have to believe me. I truly had no idea. I mean, I knew they were a Diedrich cult. Mankar Cameron's views on Mayroon's Dagon are fascinating, revolutionary even. But to murder the Emperor, Mara preserve us. Yes, of course. I don't want anyone to think I had anything to do with their insane plots. Here, Volume 3 is yours. What you do with it is your business. You can only get Volume 4 directly from a member of the Mythic Dawn. I had set up a meeting with the sponsor, as he called himself. Here, take this note they gave me. It tells you where to go. I don't want anything else to do with the Mythic Dawn. Have mercy. Just one coin. You're not easy to get hold of. What have you found out? They'll pay for the murder of the Emperor. Now that we know who they are, it's only a matter of time. This just might be the break we've been looking for. Good work. We need to get that fourth book, then. If Tarmina is right, we can use these books to locate the Mythic Dawn's hidden shrine. Let's go. I know that part of the sewers well. The sewers run underneath the whole Imperial City. There are access points in every district. The Blades have occasion to use them in our undercover work, as well as a means to move around the city without attracting attention. Follow me. I know how to get to the part of the sewers where we need to meet the sponsor. What is it, citizen? Get my back!
This one's mine! Get my back! Get my back! Watch the back! Watch the back! This was mine. Stick together. Stick together! Stand ready. Stick together! my back. This was mine! <laughs> All right, the room with the table is just through this door. I always wondered who put it there. I happen to know that if you go up the stairs there, you can get a vantage point on the meeting room. I think I'd better be the one to handle the meeting. You'll be my backup. Keep watch from above in case of trouble. Good. Remember, we must not leave here without the book. It's our best chance of finding the amulet. Listen, I may not survive this, but if I don't, you must. You must recover the book and find the Amulet of Kings. I'm glad to have you at my back. Okay, let's do this. I told you to come along! Brothers! Them. Kill them! Ah. 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 Lord 
Dagon will will Parad I told you to come along. So, you want to become one of the chosen of Mayrun's Dagon. The path of dawn is difficult, but the rewards are great. I have the book you seek. With it and the Master's three other books, you will possess the key to- I told you! For your own captain! You are weak! The time of cleansing is almost over! Oh, there's a dragon fire! That's three more that won't be reporting back to their master. Now that you have all four books, you should be able to handle things from here. I'm going to Cloud Ruler Temple. My place is at Martin's side. I'll see you back at Cloud Ruler Temple. Good luck.
It's you. Yes. Goodbye. To find their secret shrine to Mehrunes Dagon, you'll need to study the four volumes of Maincar Cameron's commentaries. It is a fairly common practice of these kinds of esoteric cults to put hidden messages within their sacred writings. In effect, simply by finding their way to the shrine, prospective members have already passed the first test on the road to enlightenment. You've piqued my curiosity about this puzzle. I will think on it myself and let you know if I have any ideas. Check back with me tomorrow after I've given this matter some thought. I'll keep studying the first two volumes of the commentaries. Who knows, I might turn up... Good evening. Evening? Yes? I told you, I'm done with those books. I'm sorry I ever got mixed up with those maniacs. Take... Welcome, friend, to the Tiber Septum Hotel. I am Augusta Alidia, your hostess. Why, yes, I do have a lovely room available for a mere 40 gold a night. Are you interested? Excellent. The room is on the floor upstairs, at the west end of the hall. I do hope you rest well. Take care. Hello. Yes. I turned up copies of the first two volumes from my colleagues and I spent a little time rereading them. Maincar Cameron certainly is a fascinating writer, undoubtedly insane, but fascinating. Ah, but more to the point, it appears to me that the first words of each paragraph may be significant, a message may be hidden there. I'll continue to study the problem. Come by tomorrow if you like. I may think of something else. The first words of each paragraph are the key. I'm sure of it. Well, I shouldn't keep you. Goodbye.
dawn is breaking. Welcome, brother. The hour is late, but the master still has need for willing hands. You may pass into the shrine. Harrow will take you to the master for your initiation into the service of Lord Dagon. Do not tarry. The time of preparation is almost over. The time of cleansing is near. I am Harrow, Warden of the Shrine of Dagon. By following the Path of Dawn, hidden in the writings of the Master, Mankar Cameron, you have earned a place among the Chosen. You have arrived at an opportune time. You may have the honor to be initiated into the Order by the Master himself. As a member of the Order of the Mythic Dawn, everything you need will be provided for you from the Master's bounty. Give me your possessions and put on this initiate's robe. What? I must warn you. No one leaves this place who does not bind himself to the service of Lord Dagon. But I am sure you will reconsider. You have proven yourself worthy and dedicated to have come this far. I ask you one last time. Give me... I am happy as give very good. Greet the new day, brother. Shh! The master is speaking! Praise, Praise be. be. Dragon throne is empty, and we hold the amulet of kings. Praise be to your brothers and sisters. Great shall be their reward in paradise. Praise, Praise be. be. Hear now the words of Lord Dagon. When I walk the earth again, the faithful among you shall receive your reward, to be set above all other mortals forever. As for the rest, the weak shall be winnowed, the timid shall be cast down, the mighty shall tremble at my feet and pray for pardon. So saith the Lord Dagon, praise, praise be. Your reward, brothers and sisters, the time of cleansing draws nigh. I go now to paradise. I shall return with Lord Dagon at the coming of the dawn. Dawn is breaking.
We have a new brother who wishes to bind himself to the service of Lord Dagon. Advance, initiate. You have come to dedicate yourself to Lord Dagon's service. This pact must be sealed with red drink, the blood of Lord Dagon's enemies. Take up the dagger and offer Lord Dagon the sacrificial red drink as pledge of your own life's blood, which shall be his in the end. Lord Dagon thirsts for red drink. Sate him. You must slay the sacrifice. Well done. You are now a member of the Order of the Mythic Dawn, one of the Chosen. Your life belongs to Lord Dagon. Dawn is breaking. When will the Master order the cleansing to begin? Everything is ready. The door is unlocked. We just need to throw it open for Lord Dagon to enter. Patience. We will see Lord Dagon walk the Earth with our own eyes. Nothing can stop us now. The time of preparation is almost over.
For Lord Dagon! For Lord Dagon! You cannot escape here! The master cannot escape! The master! Ah, you're back. I told Joffrey not to worry. I can see you've had bad news. You didn't recover the amulet, did you? By the Nine! Such a thing is dangerous even to handle! Forgive me. You were right to bring it. But you'd better give it to me. I know some ways to protect myself from its evil power. I don't know. Maybe. I suspect that the secret of how to open a portal to Cameron's Paradise lies within these pages. But I will need time. Tampering with dark secrets, even just reading them, can be very dangerous. I'll have to proceed carefully. In the meantime, you should speak to Joffrey. He was concerned about reports of spies in Bruma. I put aside the dark arts when I became a priest. The workings of fate may be seen in this too. The gods can turn anything to good. Or so I piously told those who came to see me for advice. Perhaps I may yet come to believe it myself. This evil book was written by Mayrooms Dagon himself and given by him to Manka Cameron. I believe Manka Cameron used it to create his paradise. It should give us the means to open a gate there ourselves. I will continue studying it. It is now clear to me that the only way to stop the Oblivion invasion is to relight the Dragonfires. Emperor, Amulet, and Dragonfire. With these divine gifts, the Daedra of Oblivion have been kept at bay for thousands of years. While the Dragonfires burned, 
The divine barriers kept the Daedra from making more than fleeting visits to our world. But the dragon fires can only be relit by an heir of the Septim blood, wielding the Amulet of Kings. This was the essence of Manka Cameron's plot. He was undone only by the merest chance. But his complete victory remains perilously close. We must recover the Amulet of Kings and relight the dragon fires before it is too late to stem Dagon's invasion. I hope to have at least part of the Mysterium Xarxes translated in a few days. I Speak to I Geoffrey about the spies the in the meantime. Mythic Dawn bastards. But it seems you did all right on your own. I never had time to properly thank you for your help back in the Imperial City. I wouldn't have made it back here if it weren't for you. Now that we have a free moment, I thought you might be able to use some tricks I've picked up fighting with the Blades over the years. Nobody who hasn't trained with the Blades will know these moves, so you should find them useful. See, when they swing at you sidearm, you twist your wrists like this. Exactly. You're a natural at this. Let me show you another one. I haven't been to Cloud Ruler since I was a young trainee. It feels good to be back. The Blades have always been here, and always will be. May your sword always strike true. Sir. I hope Martin knows what he's doing with that evil book. I fear for what it could do to him if he's not careful. I'm glad to have Boris here. He guards Martin night and day. His way of atoning for the death of Emperor Uriel, I suppose. Ah, yes, I hope you can help. The gate guards have reported seeing strangers on the road for the past several nights. I cannot leave Cloud Ruler undefended while my men search the whole mountainside, but these spies must be eliminated. Thank you. Talk to Stefan. He can tell you where he has seen them. Captain Bird in Bruma may also be able to help. I've asked the Countess to have the guard keep an eye out for strangers. Track down the spies and kill them. Find out what they know and what they're planning, if possible. I'm counting on you to eliminate those spies. I'll feel better when you've eliminated those spies. There's no telling what they may be planning. What can I do for you, sir? Aye, she's a beauty, isn't she? It's hard not to admire the stonework. That's some real craftsmanship, that is. We always see them near the rune stone at dusk. They aren't too woodcrafty, but Grandmaster Joffrey has forbidden us to range too far from the walls. But it seems that you have been given the freedom to attack the enemy that we all crave. Good luck. We will keep the Emperor safe here. Don't worry. Stay safe. awaits me.
Hi there, go take your break. Another day... I'm your really... What do you want? I make sure my guards treat the local Nords and their ways with respect. Except for Jurel coming back from a trip down south, things are pretty quiet. Not much travel right now with the Oblivion Crisis. I've told my men to keep a sharp eye out, but I've had no reports of any strangers in town. What about you? Turned up anything suspicious? All right, anything I can do for you, just let me know. Good. I'm hungry. Any time now. Morning, sir. What have you learned about the spies? 
excellent work. I knew I could count on you. The gods did not idly choose you as their agent, whatever you may think. But it is clear that Mankar Cameron will soon bring all his power to bear against Bruma. I will warn the Countess of the danger. You should speak to Martin. I believe he has made some progress with the Mysterium Xarxes. I will send word to the Countess at once. I've deciphered part of the ritual needed to open a portal to Camelon's paradise. The Xarxes mentions four items needed for the ritual, but so far I have only deciphered one of them. The blood of a Daedra Lord. In fact, Daedric artifacts are known to be formed from the essence of a Daedric Lord, from whence they derive their great power. Not an easy thing to come by, obviously, but we will need a Daedric artifact. Bring it to me when you have acquired one. The only way to obtain a Daedric artifact is through the cults devoted to each of the Daedric Lords. The book, Modern Heretics, is the best introduction to Daedric cults. The library here has a copy if you need it. Remember, the Mysterium Xarxes ritual will consume the physical form of the artifact in order to release its Daedric power. I've learned that the Mysterium Xarxes is both the gate and the key to Cameron's paradise. In some sense, the book is Cameron's paradise. Manka Cameron bound himself to the Sarxes when he created his paradise, using dark rituals which I will not speak of further. A gate can be opened from the outside, however. It will be more difficult, as I will have to temporarily bind myself to the book. But I believe it can be done. I will continue working to decipher the arcane items needed for the binding ritual. I think I'm close to deciphering more of the ritual. Hello, my friend. Good morning, sir. You have entered a holy place. What is your business here? These are dark times, and people's minds are poisoned by rumors and superstition. Unless you can persuade me of your good intentions, I cannot speak further on this matter. We serve her will. You have entered... All right. Handsomely done. This is the Shrine of Azura, Queen of the Dawn and the Dusk. What is your business here, Traveler? 
If you wish to speak to the lady, visit her shrine at dawn or dusk. Leave her an offering of glow dust, and perhaps she will deign to speak with you. Go then. Many years ago, five followers slew the vampire Dratic and its kin, but all are infected by the foul creature. Knowing their fate, they sealed themselves up in the vampire's lair. Their suffering weighs heavily on me. Travel to the gutted mine. The door will open to you. Bring the peace of death to my followers and you shall earn my gratitude. Rats, always skirting around in the shadows, making me jumpy. Must have been the wind. No! Die! No! Do your worst!
Showing your face was the last mistake you'll ever make. Oh. That's the best you can do? Supposed to be in first. Take that.
What is your wish, you who have been blessed by Our Lady's voice? The Great Lady has spoken. To you alone, the moon and star shall be your guide. Go then. Thank you, mortal. Their spirits are free. And henceforth, above my shrine, five bright candles shall burn forever in memory of their sacrifice. For your service, take this token, that your deeds might be entered in the Book of Fate. Yes? section of the Mysterium Xarxes is very difficult. I haven't deciphered the rest of the ritual yet. I hope you are making better progress. I won't ask what you went through to obtain this, my friend. I know all too well the depravity of the Princes of Oblivion. Are you ready to give me the artifact? Remember, the ritual will consume its physical form. It won't be seen again on Tamriel for many years. Ah, Azure as star, as beautiful as all the tales tell. You should talk to Joffrey. He needs your help. Trouble down in Broomer, I think. Farewell, my friend. I've just received word from the Countess of Bruma that an Oblivion Gate has opened outside the city. It seems that the Mythic Dawn are putting their plan to attack Bruma into motion. Since you've dealt with these gates before, I'd like you to help the Countess's guard close this gate. Once they've seen how it's done, they should be able to handle any new gates on their own. Captain Bird is waiting for you outside the Bruma City Gate. He'll show you the Oblivion Gate, although I doubt it will be hard to find. You should rendezvous with Captain Bird immediately. The sooner that gate is closed, the better. Good evening. Thanks for coming. Since we had the Hero of Kavach available, I didn't think it made sense to try this on our own the first time. We're ready when you are. Just say the word and we'll follow you into that hell-spawned gate. All right, give me a minute to talk to the men. Everyone's a bit jumpy right now. All right, boys, listen up. We've got to close that gate over there. Nobody likes the idea of going into that thing, but it's our job, and we're going to do it. If we don't, Bruma ends up a smoking pile of rubble like what happened at Kavach. And that's not going to happen here, not while I'm captain of the guard. Boor, Soren, you're with me. The rest of you stay outside and kill anything that comes out of that gate. 
Let's show these bastards how we do things in Bruma. We yeah. have you right. Here comes another one. These bastards sorry they messed with Bruma. So far, so good. So good. So far, so good. Stay sharp. Here comes another one. Oh. So good. Here comes another one. Got to get out of here. Here comes another. I ever wanted to find myself. I don't see how we can... No, no, we can do this. We have to do this. We have no choice. I'm glad you're here. We wouldn't have a chance otherwise. What's our next move? We'll follow your lead. I sure hope you know. Look out! 
I sure hope you know what you're doing. I sure hope you know what you're doing.
It was an honor to serve with you, sir. Now that I've seen how it's done, I think my guardsmen and I can handle any new gates that open near Bruma. You did it, Captain. You closed the Oblivion Gate. We didn't think we'd ever see you alive again. Believe me, it was no picnic. But thanks to our friend here, I now know we can close these Hell Gates. We can defend Bruma. Hail! Do you have a moment? There's something we need to discuss. Please, speak freely. Martin is safe and the temple is secure, but there's a storm brewing. I can feel it. Feel it in my bones. The worst is yet to come. Mark my words. We're all on edge, and for good reason. But we can't give in to panic. Let's deal with this together, as the Blades always have. We are one mind and one blade, of course. We must not relax our guard, not even for a second. We'll talk more about this later. Keep your heart true and your eyes open. Have you helped Captain Bird and his men close the Oblivion Gate yet? Good work. Captain Bird and his guardsmen should be able to handle any additional gates, at least for now. But the Bruma Guard cannot defend the city indefinitely. The Daedra of Oblivion are innumerable, the Guardsmen of Bruma are not. We need to gather what allies we can before Bruma is hopelessly besieged. If the Mythic Dawn manages to open a great gate here, the city will need a stronger garrison for there to be any hope of defending it. You should speak to the rulers of the other cities of Cyrodiil, as well as the Elder Council. Ask them to send aid to Bruma before it is too late. Martin made some progress on the Mysterium Xarxes while you were gone. You should speak to him about it. Bruma cannot hold off the hordes of Oblivion alone. You should ask the rulers of the other cities of Cyrodiil to send help. You should speak to the rulers of Cyrodiil as soon as possible. The danger to Bruma is growing by the day. I figured out another item needed for the ritual, to open the portal to Cameron's Paradise. The second item is the counterpart to the first, the blood of a divine. This was a terrible puzzle to me. Unlike the Daedra Lords, the gods have no artifacts and do not physically manifest themselves in our world. How, then, to obtain the blood of a god? But Joffrey solved it. The blood of Tiber Septum himself, who became one of the divines. This is a secret remembered only by the blades, passed down from one Grand Master to the next. Joffrey should tell it to you himself. Be sure to speak to Joffrey about the... So, Martin wants you to recover the armor of Tiber Septim. I wish there was another way. The armor is in the shrine of Tiber Septim, in the catacombs beneath the ruins of Sankator, a holy place once. But Sankator became evil long ago. No one has returned from the shrine of Tiber Septim for many lifetimes. I do not know. The catacombs of Sankator were sealed by the first Grand Master of the Blades. The four mightiest blades of Tiber Septim's day, Alain, Valdemar, Relus, and Kaznar, went to Sankator and never returned. Here, this is the key to Sankator's outer door. I fear I am sending you to your death, but we have no other choice. You must succeed.
an ancient relic of the first emperor who became the divine Talos, the patron of our order. After the Battle of Sankator, Tiber Septim gave his armor to the Blades in honor of our role in his victory. The Blades built a shrine in the catacombs of Sankator, on the spot where Tiber Septim received the blessing of Akatosh. The armor has been there ever since. Before evil came to Sankator, this shrine was a place of pilgrimage for all Blades. But no one has visited the shrine and lived to tell the tale in centuries. May your Sir.
can finally complete my lord's last request. I was Rebus, loyal blade of Emperor Tylosentum. I do not know how long I have been dead. It feels like an eternity. sent here by the Emperor Tiber's Septum to discover what evil had defiled the holy catacombs of San Kertor. We did not know that the Underking, who was here in Artis, had risen to take his first revenge upon his former and ensnared us in his evil enchantment, and bound us here to guard forever the defiled shrine of Tiber Sectum. No, he departed long ago, but his evil will remains, preventing any from paying homage at the shrine. Over the uncounted years of our slavery here, we have brooded over our defeat. I believe that we can undo the Underkings' evil magic. I go now to complete my duty to my lord, Tiber Septum, free. My brothers, and together we may be able to lift the Under King's curse. Farewell.
her chamber. We were separated. The fog blinded us. No. That was the dream. I am awake now. I must fulfill my oath to the Emperor before I can finally rest. Aside in the name of Tiger Septim and the Blades, hinder me at your peril.
freed me. Free my brothers, if they are still enslaved. Together we will cleanse the shrine of the Underkings, foul magic. Fulfilled our last duty. We go now to Aetherius without shame. Farewell. We have We have fulfilled our We
What's up? Hail. My progress on the Mysterium Xarxes is slow, I'm afraid. How goes your search for the armor of Tiber Septim? The Septim blood may flow through my veins, but you have the soul of a hero. The armor of Tiber Septim himself. Joffrey will be amazed to see it. You can reassure Joffrey that I will not destroy the armor. All I need is a scraping of Talos's divine blood. The blades are as touchy as priests about relics of Tiber Septim, it seems. While you were gone, I've made some progress in deciphering the Mysterium Xarxes ritual. The third item we need is a great Welkin stone. You may have run across lesser Welkin stones. They're fairly common in alien ruins. But a great Welkin stone will not be easy to come by. They have been plundered one by one over the years due to their great value to mages and occultists. There is only one place that is rumored to still contain one. The ruins of the Aeliad city of Miskarkand. A place where many have perished seeking its great stone. But nothing else will do, so you must succeed where all others have failed. The capital of one of the ancient Aeliad kingdoms which flourished in Cyrodiil before the rise of men. It is said that the ruins are still haunted by the vengeful spirit of its last king. True or not, it is not a place to enter lightly. Be careful. The pinnacle of Aeliad magic. Once, every Aeliad city had its great stone, but they've all been plundered over the centuries. All but one. The great stone of Miskarkand is reputed still to shine in the deep darkness of its ruined halls. But no one has ever done more than glimpse it from a distance. It is said to be guarded by the ghost of the last king of Miskarkand. Miskarkand is one of the most extensive Aeliad ruins in Cyrodiil. It was the capital of one of the ancient Aeliad kingdoms. You might find glories and laments among the Aeliad ruins useful. I have the library's copy at my table if you need it. Be careful, my friend. I know you've braved many dangers already, but Miskarkand is not to be taken lightly. What do you need, friend? Whatever you... Farewell. I haven't time to talk right now. What can I do? For Keep your heart true. What can I do? Don't worry. May Uriel's spirit guide us. Sir. Sorry, but I'm... Friend. Good evening, sir.
Good evening, sir. Good evening, sir. With all due respect, sire, there must be another way. The risk is too great. I know the risk. I was at Kavach. But there is no other way. We have no choice. The Countess will never agree to it. She will. She must. Very well. The blades are, as always, at your disposal. What do you need, friend? Ah, here you are. I have good news of a sort. You're back, and you've got the great stone. You did. I can count on you. I never thought to see a great Welkin stone. As beautiful as all the old tales tell. But of course its beauty is a mask for its deadly power, like everything crafted by the Aeliads. Now, we need only one more item, and we'll be ready to open a portal to Manka Cameron's realm. I should have seen it sooner. It's the counterpart to the Great Welkin Stone, just as the first two were the opposed powers of the Daedra and the Divines. Welkin Stones contain the concentrated power of Mundus, their counterparts are sigil stones, which are used to hold open Oblivion Gates. A great sigil stone, then, is what we require. You're not going to like it. Geoffrey doesn't like it. The Countess of Bruma certainly isn't going to like it. Great sigil stones are the anchors of great gates. The kind of gate the mythic dawn opened at Kavach. The kind of gate the mythic dawn wants to open here to destroy Bruma. I said you weren't going to like it. The risk is great, I know. I was at Kavach. I saw the terrible power of the Daedric siege engine. But we have no choice. The only way to recover the Amulet of Kings is to allow the Mythic Dawn to proceed with their plan to attack Bruma. No. I'll lead the defense of Bruma myself. If I am to be Emperor, it's time I started acting like one. Remember when we first met in Kavach? I told you that I didn't want any part of the gods' plan. I still don't know if there is a divine plan, but I've come to realize that it doesn't matter. What matters is that we act, that we do what's right when confronted with evil. That's what you did at Kavach. It wasn't the gods that saved us, it was you. Were you acting for the gods? I don't know, but now it's my turn to act. Please, my friend, I need your judgment, not your obedience. I explain myself to you so you understand me, and so you can explain to the Countess. I am afraid she may take a bit more convincing than you. Good. Have her meet me in the Chapel of Talos for a council of war. That seems a fitting place to make such desperate plans. What is it? Martin has made his decision. The blades stand beside him. They tell us guide you. Please forgive me, but I'm afraid... Hello. I heard that you helped the guard close that Oblivion Gate. Thanks. We were getting worried about that damn thing. For the right price, I can make anything good as new.
armor, weapons. I have it all. How may I help you? An excellent bargain. I let that go too cheaply. Thank you for your patronage. You too. It's a pleasure to see you. Yes? None of the other cities have sent aid. Bruma stands alone. She holds public audience in the Great Hall. Greetings. What news from Cloud Ruler Temple? He served Emperor Uriel for many years, and so far he has done well in an impossible situation. Desperate plan indeed. This... Prince? Emperor? Martin would risk my whole city to gain a great sigil stone? This is the only way to stop this invasion from oblivion? I must confess, you are the first person to speak of victory against these Daedra. This war seemed hopeless to me. But what else was there to do but hold on and wait for a hero to arise to save us? And now it seems there is an heir to the throne after all, hidden at Cloud Ruler Temple. And perhaps a hero as well? You avoid answering my question. Very well. Don't think I doubt you. The rulers of Bruma have long had dealings with Cloud Ruler Temple. We know whom they serve. I will meet Martin at the chapel. When all is ready... I will order my men to stop closing the gates and prepare for battle.
Your Highness. I am Narina Carvain, Countess of Bruma, at your service. There is no need for any formality at this time. I am not Emperor yet, and I am quite new to this notion of being heir to the throne. Thank you for coming. I know I am asking for a great deal of trust, but this is the only way. I would not suggest it otherwise. Your champion has already explained the situation to me. I have agreed to it. We will not win this war through caution. You have a rare gift to know when desperation is the path of wisdom. I will do everything in my power to defend your city, my lady. If Bruma falls, the Empire falls with us. So be it. I will call out my militia if necessary, but must we truly stand alone? I don't think we can survive the Daedric onslaught. So be it. Bruma's fate is in the hands of the gods now, and yours. My place is on the battlefield. The time for hiding in Cloud Ruler Temple is over. Come, let us go down to battle together. Bird, deploy the troops for battle. As you command, Countess. For the Emperor! Martin! 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 of Cyrodiil, the Empire will stand or fall by what we do here today. Will we let the Daedra do to Bruma what they did to Kavach? Will we let them burn our homes? Will we let them kill our families? No, we make our stand here today for the whole of Cyrodiil. We must hold fast until the hero of Kavach can destroy their great gates. We must kill whatever comes out of that gate. Soldiers of Cyrodiil, do you stand with me? They must shelter for Bruma!
We won a great victory here today. We now have the means to recover the Amulet of Kings from Manka Cameron. But we need to act quickly. Cameron will not take long to recognize his danger. Remember, the portal closes behind you. Anything you need, carry it with you. I'll have the ritual ready in the Great Hall when you arrive. Farewell. As a young man, I grew impatient with Mage's Guild restrictions as did many of my fellow apprentices. We threw ourselves into the riddles of Daedric magic. We hungered for forbidden secrets. Knowledge and power were our gods. You can guess the rest. We got in over our heads. People died. My friends died. I've put those days behind me. But the bitter wisdom that one has been a fool is not without value. I have everything necessary for the ritual to use the Xarxes to open a portal to Cameron's paradise. Remember, the portal will close behind you, so you will need to take everything you need. The only way to close all the Oblivion Gates forever is for me to relight the Dragonfires in the Temple of the One. Our only hope is to recover the Amulet of Kings from Manka Cameron. Farewell, my friend. Once you're rested and equipped, you should have Martin open the portal to Cameron's Paradise immediately. Don't give the enemy a chance to recover from their defeat. Once you're... He served with honor. No blade could ask for higher praise. Stay safe.
Congratulations on your victory. I admit, I thought your plan would lead to disaster, but you came through for Bruma. I won't forget it. Just leave. Congratulations on your victory, sir. I have everything in place for the ritual. I'll open the portal whenever you're ready. I don't know what you'll find in Cameron's paradise. I do know the portal I create through the Mysterium Xarxes ritual will close behind you. You'll have to find another way back. I believe that Manka Cameron acts as the anchor for paradise, just as a sigil stone anchors an oblivion gate in place. Kill Manka Cameron, and you will unmake his paradise. Shall I open the portal to paradise? Are you ready? Farewell, my friend. Our fate is in your hands. Bring back the Amulet of Kings. Brace yourself. So, the cat's paw of the Septims arrives at last. You didn't think you could take me unawares, here of all places, in the paradise that I created. Look now upon my paradise. Gaia Alata in the old tongue, a vision of the past and the future. You? How can you be here? No matter. You are too late to stop Lord Dagon's victory. Soon we will return to Tamriel to rule over it as lords. While you will remain here in the Eternal Garden forever. Gaer Alata is the master's name for this place. We usually just call it Paradise. This is the Savage Garden. At the top of that mountain lies the Terrace of Dawn which leads up to Manka Cameron's palace, Carrick Agailor. Beneath the mountain lies the Forbidden Grotto, the only way out of the Savage Garden. The Forbidden Grotto is the only way out of the Savage Garden. Those who earn the Master's favor are given the bands of the Chosen and allowed to leave the Garden. Those favored by the Master to wear the bands may enter the Forbidden Grotto and leave this savage garden forever. We have all died in the Master's service. Here in Gaia Alata, we are immortal and wait to return to Tamriel after Lord Dagon's final victory. The Master will soon
Behold the savage god, where my disciples are tempered for a higher destiny, to rule over Tamriel Reborn. If you are truly the hero of destiny, as I hope, the garden will not hold you for long. Lift your eyes to Kerek Agayalar, my seat at the pinnacle of paradise. I shall await you. destroyed the sigil tower at Ganona. My kin, say you fought well. You speak directly, like one of my people almost. I'm glad I did not kill you immediately. There is but one way out of the garden. I guard that path. You will travel that path, and it will bring me honor to defeat you. But you shamed my kin at Ganona to bring you into my service. That would also bring me honor. So I offer you a choice. Would you confront me in battle, or offer me service? Your mind follows the simple path choice of an animal, but you have courage at least. You will fail, mortal, and then where will you be? Dead and nothing. Principalities have sparkled as gems in the black reaches of oblivion since the first morning. Many are their names and the names of their masters. The cold harbor of Meridia, Periite's quagmire, the ten moon shadows of Mithala and... and Dawn's beauty. The princedom of Lorcon, misnamed Tamriel by deluded mortals. Yes, you understand now. Tamriel is just one more Daedric realm of oblivion, long since lost to its prince when he was betrayed by those that served him. Lord Dagon cannot invade Tamriel, his birthright. He comes to liberate the occupied lands. Are you here to end this nightmare and free us all from the Savage Garden? Only those wearing the bands can enter the Forbidden Grotto. No one who enters the grotto ever returns. The only way... Only those wearing the bands... Everyone here died, but I'll... No... Leave me in peace. How is it that the Daedra forthrightly proclaim themselves to man while the gods cower behind statues and the faithless words of traitor priests. It is simple. They are not 
gods at all. The truth has been in front of you since you first were born. The Daedra are the true gods of this universe. Julianos, Dibella, and Stondar are all Lorcan's betrayers, posing as divinities in the principality that has lost its guiding light. What are scholarship, love, and mercy when compared to fate, night, and destruction? The gods you worship are trifling shadows of first causes. They have tricked you. Why do you think your world has always been contested ground, the arena of powers and immortals? It is Tamriel, the realm of chaos, and the brother of mother, Your false gods could not entirely rewrite history. Thus you remember tales of Lorcan vilified, a dead trickster whose heart came to Tamriel. But if a god can die, how does his heart survive? He is Daedroth, Tamriel I Daedroth. This heart is the heart of the world, for one was made to satisfy the other. You all remember this. It is in every legend. Daedra cannot die, so your so-called gods cannot erase him from your minds completely. You wear the bands, but you're no prisoner. Who are you? What are you doing here? Can you really do it? Can you bring this eternal nightmare to an end? Can you defeat Mankar Cameron and free all the souls of the poor fools who followed him? Listen, I can help you. You need my help if you are ever to leave the Forbidden Grotto. I was one of Mankar Cameron's chief lieutenants. I helped plan the Emperor's assassination. I opened the Great Gate at Kvach. We were the Chosen. We saw more clearly than ordinary mortals. We would destroy the world and remake it. Mankar Cameron was our leader, our teacher, our master. He had the secret knowledge. He dealt with Mehrunes Dagon as an equal. I was at the sack of Kvach. They had no chance. We took them by surprise, and we carried the walls in the first assault. But they fought on anyway, desperately. They seemed to think this decadent, mundane world of theirs was worth defending. I was slain after the battle was over. Three townsfolk hiding in the cellar attacked me when I entered their house, hunting down survivors. They tore me to pieces, although I have no doubt they were immediately killed by my companions. I've had plenty of time to ponder my deeds since I came here. Ponder and regret. An eternity of regret. For my weakness, the Master sent me here to torture my former comrades who showed similar ingratitude for his gift of eternal life. No one wearing the bands of the Chosen can leave this grotto. The doors will not open, 
and there is no other way out. I can remove them, but I will need time. The Dramora Overseer will be here any minute to check up on me. You need to play along until he leaves. Just act like a prisoner, and do as I say. Once Orthe leaves, we can find a quiet spot to remove these bands. Good. Follow me, and don't worry. You can trust me. Prisoner, sent in by... Show me some respect, worm. Unless you want to end up in the cages with them. Yes, Kinreeve, sir. This prisoner was sent in by Cathotec for questioning. I was about to begin. This is not one of Mankar Cameron's chattels from the garden. Who is he? Nothing escapes your vigilance, Kinreeve. Cathotec wondered as well. This is why he sent him for questioning. Well, carry on. Of course, King. Prisoner, get in the cage. There's no way for me to cross, but the Master's immortality does have its uses. I will distract the Dramora for as long as I can. will not be tolerated. I didn't think you'd have any trouble. Let's get these bands off you. There. You're not a prisoner of the Forbidden Grotto any longer. Let me come with you. Let me help you kill Mankar Cameron. I am not without power. I am no match for Mankar Cameron, but perhaps together we can find a way to defeat him. Lead on! Well done, champion. Your progress is swift and sure. Perhaps you will reach me after all. You think I mock you? Not at all. In your coming, I hear the footsteps of... You are the last defender of decadent Tamriel. I am the midwife of the mythic dawn, Tamriel Reborn. I welcome you, if you truly are the agent of fate. 
I tire of the self-styled heroes who set themselves in my path only to prove unworthy in the event. Let's put an end. expect to see me again, did you? You have no grasp of the power that my father has at his command. You think you can stop us? Soon Mehrun's Dagon will walk upon Tamriel for the first time since the Mythic Age, and our victory will be complete. Come. My father is waiting to welcome you to Karak Agayalor. So, here you are at last, the lackey of the Septim Pretender. You still think you have a chance, don't you? We knew you would find your way here eventually, but it is of no consequence. You should not keep my father waiting any longer. He expected you hours ago. Come, you came here to see him, did you not?
I have waited a long time for you, champion of old Tamriel. You were the last gasp of a dying age. You breathe the stale air of false hope. How little you understand. You cannot stop Lord Dagon. The walls between our worlds are crumbling. The mythic dawn grows nearer with every rift in the firmament. Soon, very soon, the lines now blurred will be erased. Tamriel and Oblivion rejoined, the mythic age reborn. Lord Dagon shall walk Tamriel again. The world shall be remade. The new age shall rise from the ashes of the old. My vision shall be realized. Weakness will be purged from the world, and mortal and immortal alike purified in the refiner's fire. My long duel with the Septims is over, and I have the mastery. The Ur is dead. The Amulet of Kings is mine. And the last defender of the last ragged Septim stands before me in the heart of my power. Let us see who at last has proved the stronger. Oh, Tamriel! Melstar's camp must be destroyed! I am the army! Homage to Martin's champion. You found a way back. Does this mean... You did it. You defeated him. Then you have it. You have the Amulet of Kings. Belongs to me. The Amulet of Kings. So you and Joffrey have said. If it is true... If the Emperor really was my father, then I should be able to wear it. Only those of the Septim blood can wear the Amulet of Kings. Yes, of course. What am I waiting for? After all, this is my destiny. And no man can deny his destiny. I didn't really need the Amulet to tell me that. I've known it was true since you first told me him back in Kavach. But it is one thing to talk of becoming Emperor, and quite another to actually be the Emperor. Not yet. Until we light the Dragonfires, the gates are open, and Mehrun's Dagon's invasion continues. While you were gone, I sent a messenger to Chancellor Akato. He waits for us in the Imperial City. Chancellor Akato is the head of the Elder Council. The Council rules in the Emperor's absence. I don't expect any objections from the Elder Council, but we should defer to their authority. Let's go to the Imperial City at once, before the enemy can recover from Manka Cameron's death. Sup? Good afternoon, sir. 
Time is pressing. Martin must relight the dragon fires before the enemy can stop us. He will not be forgotten. He goes to Aetherius to join the other fallen heroes of the Blades. I thank you for recovering his sword. I will set it in a place of honor in the Great Hall of Cloud Ruler Temple. Once Martin uses the Amulet of Kings to light the dragon fires, the barriers between Oblivion and Tamriel will be restored. The Oblivion gates will close, and Merun's Dagon's invasion will have failed. Martin is right. Declaring oneself Emperor is a delicate matter. In this case, however, I do not think there should be any dispute. The Elder Council has been governing the Empire since the Emperor's murder. They will be overjoyed to have an heir to crown. They've been unable to solve the Oblivion Crisis. The Empire is falling apart. Only a legitimate Emperor offers any hope. They tell us guide you, my friend. We should go to lead on. Good afternoon, sir. Then pay with your blood!
Time is pressing. Farewell. Stop! Then... Hope you... Let's continue on to the Elder Council Chambers. Delay is dangerous. Lead on, my friend. Speak. in a bolivian <laughs> Chancellor Okada is expecting you. He had word of your arrival in the capital. Very well. Let's finish this. Yes? Welcome to the Imperial Palace. I've been expecting you. The full council has already considered the matter of Martin's claim to the Imperial throne in detail. Martin Septim, on behalf of the Elder Council, I accept Chancellor your claim to the Imperial throne. We should arrest Chancellor O'Connor. The city is under attack. Oblivion gates have opened, and Daedra are inside the walls. The guard is overwhelmed. Courage, soldier. We have an Emperor again. Your Highness, what are your orders? Shall the guard fall back to the palace? No. If we let ourselves get besieged in the palace, we're doomed. We must get to the Temple of the One immediately. As you command, sire. Guards, 
Form up and protect the Emperor. To the Temple of the One. Too late. Mehrun's Dagon is here. Lighting the dragon fires will no longer save us. The barriers that protected us from oblivion are gone. I don't see how. Mortal weapons may hurt him. But now that he is physically here in Tamriel, they have no power to actually destroy him. Wait, yes. The amulet was given to mortals by Akatosh. It contains his divine power. But how to use this power against Dagon? The amulet was not intended as a weapon. I have an idea, one last hope. I must reach the Dragonfires and the Temple of the One. You'll just have to trust me. I know now what I was born to do, but I'll need your help. I have to get past Mehrun's Dagon somehow. Then I'll do the rest. Lead on, my friend. I'm with you. Do what I must do. I cannot stay to rebuild Tamriel. That task falls to others. Farewell. You've been a good friend in the short time that I've known you. But now I must go. The dragon waits.
the amulet is shattered, Dagon is defeated. With the dragon's blood and the amulet of kings, we have sealed the gates of oblivion forever. The last of the Septims passes now into history. I go gladly, for I know my sacrifice is not in vain. I take my place with my father and my father's fathers. The third age has ended and a new age dawns. When the next Elder Scroll is written, you shall be its scribe. The shape of the future, the fate of the Empire. These things now belong to you. What happened? Where's Martin? I must congratulate him. Mayroon's Dagon is defeated. Cast back into oblivion. We've won! What do you mean, gone? We saw the Temple Dome explode. The Avatar of Akatosh appear. That was Martin? The joined blood of kings and gods. The amulet of kings. The divine power of Akatosh. Then, Martin is gone. Yes, sealed forever. Merum's Dagon and his ilk can never threaten Tamriel again. Martin is dead, but he died an emperor and a hero to rival Tiber Septim. This victory is not without cost. We've lost Martin Septim. What an emperor he might have made. His sacrifice was necessary, but it leaves the Empire without an Emperor. I don't know what happens now. There are troubled times ahead for the Empire. But now is not the time to worry about the future. Let's just give thanks that we're alive! In my capacity as Lord High Chancellor of the Elder Council, I hereby proclaim you Champion of Cyrodiil! And, as a small token of gratitude for your service to the Empire, I have ordered a suit of Imperial Dragon armor made for you. We are now the stewards of the Empire. We can hold the Empire together in the short term. But to be honest, I don't know what will happen. The provinces have been rested for years, even before the latest crisis. With no legitimate claimant for the Dragon Throne, Troubled times lie ahead. You have earned the highest rank possible in the Order of the Dragon, the illustrious Order of Imperial Knights founded by Tiber Septim himself. It is a high honor. Only six other champions have been awarded in the history of the Empire. Imperial Dragon armor is normally worn only by the Emperor himself, but you deserve no less, Champion. I know he's gone. As the Chancellor of the Elder Council, my concern now is how to choose his successor. The dragon will stand forever as a memorial to what you and Martin did for all of Tamriel. What can I do for you? You were there. You saw his true nature. The blood of the dragon was revealed for all to see. Keep your heart true, and your eyes open. <laughs>